Hey everybody and welcome back to this Kitchen Mischief at the Sweet Monkey. We are on a culinary voyage to Cuba. We're going to Little Havana. All right, and so, like I said in the newsletter, you guys are amazing. You give me so many ideas and places to go and things to try. And so, a good friend of mine brought me his mom's book and I followed recipes, okay? I picked them out and followed them, which you know I don't do very well. But, you know, when you're doing somebody else's food, you wanna do it right. You wanna follow how they did it so that hopefully, you do it right, right? <laughs> so um, we have three different entrees. Everything is coming as a plate this week because um, you just need to try everything all together. So we're gonna show you the the pork dish and the drunken chicken dish. I can't remember their um, Cuban names, I'm sorry, uh, but they are written down. So you're gonna get everything in the oven ready plate. So you're just gonna pop in the oven and I'm gonna do my best to just kind of emulate that. So over here, We've got, um, it's the sherry and sour orange and onion roasted uh, pork butt, which has just been amazing. Um, and then we have the drunken chicken, so that's got some light rum and white wine, uh, manzanilla olives, and both of them have uh, the mojo creole, which is a garlic onion sour orange sauce, which apparently goes with everything, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, also, while these are in the oven warming up, we're gonna fry some black eyed pea fritters and do the stuffed avocado. So, let's, oh, and this also is the um, the Moors and Christians black beans and rice. So it's got a little green pepper and onion and cumin, um, bay leaf and garlic, black beans and rice. So here we go, into the oven and we'll get on with some other things. Oh wait, let's put this on. So that gets nice and toasty. Now that is a bone-in chicken thigh. It's gonna take just a skosh longer than the breast, but everything should be okay. So while we wait for that oil to heat up, we're gonna stuff an avocado. Now I've already, of course, made up the, the mixture. So it's shrimp and capers and hard-boiled egg, parsley, onion, super simple. Watch we go. Of course, I'm already going to stuff it for you guys, so don't worry about that. I didn't cut the little slice off the bottom to make it stay, but I do that for you. Now, we usually film these things on Tuesday, but since Tuesday was the 19th of January, it's my mom's 70th birthday, we kind of cut out early to go celebrate her. So here we are on Wednesday, which is the 20th, which was inauguration day. So lots of excitement in the air, that's for sure. We're just gonna top that with a little paprika. How nice and just refreshing is that? Yes, there is some mayonnaise in there, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, we also have a flank steak dish called Old Clothes. I know that sounds kind of odd, but it's kind of, I think, a Cuban favorite. Um, and just about every culture has some kind, or that deals with like green peppers especially and have tomatoes, has a beef tomato pepper onion dish, and that is what this one is. So that's also available. And everything is gonna come with um, baked sweet plantains, but y'all, bought me out today, so I'm gonna have to make some more, so I can't show you those tonight. And also these black bean fritters, which is literally just soaked, um, not black bean, black eyed peas, ground together with garlic, salt, and pepper, and fried in peanut oil, so sorry my peanut people. And there we go. And these also reheat, so I mean, really, everything on that plate, just pop that in the oven, and you're gonna be good. And I know I don't have 20 minutes worth of talking, so we are gonna take a break, and we will be right back. All right, guys, everything's ready. It's out of the oven, so everything's nice and warm. We got a little more brown on our onions, and we're just gonna slide it all onto the plate. 
smell the green onion or the green olives. Smell a vision. Smell a vision. Yeah. Good thing you guys are gonna eat this at home. Okay, and there here's our pork. This is the one honestly I'm really excited about, but I'm a huge roast pork fan, so what can I think? Think of Holly's pork butt. You know, when she makes the what is that? What is that dish you make? Oh, the Kahlua pork? No, the, the when you cut it, the, the uh, I don't know, pork something. I don't know. You slap it, you know, you, you make the... Uh, That's all right. And there's... Smell-o-vision. <laughs> <laughs> the, the videographer, he doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. <laughs> and so here's our uh, black-eyed pea fritters. They're still a little hot, but I just want to show you on the inside. Oh, how fun is that? You know, and this stuff all has room for your own personal embellishments. If you like it spicy, by all means. Um, you know, but this this is what the recipe said. Also, what we have is a guava tart. And so it's kind of like a cake, cake-like thing with a guava paste in between. And then the only thing that I kind of made my own, it was um, the flan recipe out of the book, but my white wine cake to just give it a little oomph. So yeah, we've got a, a flan cake, the guava tart, we have black bean salad in the fridge, Cuban beef stew, that is the other thing. I actually peel potatoes for y'all. You know, I don't do that. So, loving, loving everybody out there. Um, other exciting news, we have launched our frozen pizza line. So Sanctuary of Stuff in Weaverville is now carrying our vegetarian frozen pizzas. Um, Tobacco Road in Hot Springs will be carrying our frozen pizzas. Sarah Joe's Station, also in Hot Springs, is carrying our veggie lasagnas and granola. Um, so yeah, just be on the lookout for all these other fun sweet monkey things that, you know, could be closer to you. So let's support everybody while we're staying home and staying local. And yeah, there we go. We'll see you all next week. Thank you.